there. Welcome to another edition of Broadcast Rock, where on this episode, I'm going to be doing something a little different, where I'm not going to be reviewing an album that came out this year. It actually came out in 2021, and this album is from the band Sleep Token, and the name of the album is This Place Will Become Your Tomb. And the reason I'm doing this is because it seems like everyone's talking about Sleep Token now, and I have been there since the day they started um before their albums even came out so i kind of wanted to give my two cents in there if anyone cares that's great if they don't care they don't um but yeah this is my favorite album they've put out my favorite material they've put out yet i'm not counting their new stuff because the album's not out yet as of right now this album is my favorite material they've put out So yes, right off the bat, this band is awesome, as you can tell from those couple songs. Um, The first song, Atlantic, starts with a beautiful piano, and then there's uh, him singing uh, Vessel, is what he calls himself. He, I don't know who he really is. They haven't broken their identity yet, which is cool, but Vessel starts with a uh, singing. Then there's rain in the background, and it makes you feel... So much like you're sinking into the ocean, like the Atlantic Ocean. And then the band will kick in and it makes you feel like the waves are coming over you, which is the band. Um, it just, it's a, it's a force to be re- reckoned with almost, um, this song. It's starting off, it's great. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song. Uh, and it fe- like I said, it feels like you're in the ocean the atlantic ocean and i think that's kind of what they were going for in Atlant- like the ocean sound with the waves and the the rain drops and all that and then hypnosis is next in the very beginning sounds like a deftone song they do not sound like deftones do not <laughs> do not take me and say oh man he says sleep token sounds like deftones no the beat of the song reminds me of a deftone song um so yes uh it's a great song it's it's got that more new metal sound to it than the previous song so this song might be more uh easy listening for some people if that makes sense and then the next song mine it starts with a simple dreamlike synth and with each passing moment more of the band joins and it just builds and builds and builds and it just it ends with this awesome band you know on on their on the best they can be um the whole album the band is the best i think that they can be because i don't think that this band is ever going to put out something that isn't top notch uh then like that (laughs) <laughs> women will love this song because it's a lot like this the summoning so it's that sexy rock that women have been claiming sleep token is this is definitely the song that you want to listen to for the sexy rock um then the love you want is a great single and it's a great uh great introduction to the band um it's progressive and it has a even it has a breakdown so it's it's a solid single it's a really 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 good song um and then fall for me um but uh i had to look it up because his vocals are done by a vocorder a vocorder it's basically like one of those things that uh now this is gonna sound funny but that bon jovi uses when living on a prayer and then peter frampton used 
for when you talk into it and it makes your voice kind of distort it. He uses that in this song and it works awesome. It's eerie but beautiful at the same time. And then Alkaline, this is my favorite on the album. It's very aggr aggressive yet melodic. And it's a perfect single. It's it's just perfect representation of Sleep Token. Then Distortion, this reminds me of the first album, The, sh the, the Sundowning. It's very relaxing and ends with a uh, heavenly intro. It's just, if you like the first album, or you want to know more about them, check out the first album, The Sundowning, uh, because this song sounds like it came off of that album. Uh, it kind of sounds like it piggybacked off of that album. Then Descending is another sexy song, track women will like. It almost has it, it almost has no goth like vibes to it, so it's really really it's a good song. Um, but yeah, women will definitely probably call it sexy rock uh, on on uh, whatever they are been calling Sleep Token now. And the next song is Tello Meniers, and that song it's the softest and calmest vessels vessel as the singer voice has ever been. It's such a slow song, to, and you could probably dance to it. It has a nice floaty sound to it, and it's even got a nice slow solo. Um, and then High Water, this is a very progressive song, and he even has like a screaming moment on it. It's basically about him uh, not being able to be with someone that he loves. And then the final song on it is Missing Limbs, and this is just a straight up acoustic song with a piano that bleeds in into the background at towards the end of the song. It's a really, really good song too. Um, so overall, every song on here is good. Um, straight out of the gate, I'm just going to tell you, it gets a 10 out of 10. Um, I think that their new album is also going to probably be a 10 out of 10 and it's going to be up there for album of the year for me. Um, but I wanted to go back and kind of semi-review this album uh, just to give you guys a, a taste of how I perceive Sleep Token and to just show that I wasn't like on the bandwagon when the new album does come out that I have liked these guys for a while. Um, I actually saw them um, open up for issues and uh, during their first album cycle and they played five songs off of that only, which you know, five songs seeing Sleep Token play is an is it's awesome. But at the same time, you're like, man, five songs in, you're like, you, you, they really get their groove in, and you just want to see more. And then this past year, last year now, I saw them open up for Nothing More, and in this moment, and it was weird because it didn't seem like the audience was into them that much. There was, a, of course, their core group because they are they have a dedicated following. But for the most part, it seemed like the audience wasn't having it. But now it seems like everyone loves Sleep Token. So I'm glad they've connected and struck that nerve with the, the mainstream audience because they deserve it. They are a talented band. And the one thing I must say that aggravates me the most is when they people say they're like Ghost. They are nothing like Ghost. Nothing 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 i can't express that enough um the only thing that they're like ghosts with is they don't go by their names and you know that's it and don't i like ghosts so i'm not bad mouthing ghosts so don't think i am but they're nothing alike ghosts um they're their own unique thing um they're really not like any other band out there and i'm not just saying that because i love sleep token but they're their unique own thing you have to listen to them to like understand what i'm talking about and i hope this makes you want to go back and listen to their previous albums before this new one comes out and if you would like me to like i said i'm probably going to do it regardless but if you would like me to review their first album comment down below and uh hit the like and subscribe button while you're doing that and then until next time rock on